What's going on, Lead Gen Beast and my fellow Go High Level Entrepreneurs? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. I wanted to do an updated training video on the custom values feature inside of Go High Level. It's been a little while since I've done a training on this. And uh, I want to do this because this is just, uh, it, without question, one of my favorite features inside of Go High Level. It is so powerful and it saves an incredible amount of time in your business and your, uh, you know, for your clients, onboarding new clients. If you're running a SaaS agency, uh, which is one of the uh, one part of my business, um, it basically allows you to customize uh, the sub account for your client very, very quickly, thus uh, increasing the value of your SaaS product as well, being able to get the account customized. I, I can get a new client uh, sub account customized in like 20 minutes, all because of custom value. So I want to show you exactly how I'm using them in my business right now and how to create them, how to use them inside of the platform. And like by the end of this video, you'll see how powerful this feature is and why it's one of my favorites. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step my entire process for this. Just hit that like button. Uh, if you find the video helpful, guys, uh, check out, um, I'll, like I'll have uh, uh, links in the description to additional training on you know, Go High Level and building a marketing agency and stuff like that. So uh, just make sure you check that stuff out. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's rock and roll. Um, the first thing I want to mention, guys, is we're not talking about custom fields, all right? There's a big difference between custom fields and custom values, all right? So we're in the settings tab here. You'll see here custom fields, custom values. The custom fields is something that you use to gather information and put it, uh, get, you're, you're gathering information from a contact. I'll show you an example. So my process for onboarding new clients in this case, and again, you can use this for, I use this for my own business, my own agency as well. Uh, but you know, I do this primarily too for my, uh, mainly for my SaaS product. But anyways, um, I basically what happens is when someone purchases and signs up for my SaaS product, the very next step is I have them complete an onboarding form that gives me all of the information I need to update all of the custom values, right? Uh, which again, it makes the onboarding process for my clients so much easier. You know, a lot of people, they're not tech savvy or they just don't wanna deal with this. They just wanna get in, start using the platform and start getting results, right? So it's our job as SaaS agency owners to make the process as easy as possible. So I get all of the information that I'm going to need to customize the majority of their accounts um, you can't do everything for them, but th most of it, right? So all of these are custom fields right here that gather the information I need from the contact and it puts it in their contact profile, all right? So it's a good way, uh, having some type of onboarding form, it's a great way to get what you need to update the custom values, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. But I just wanted to make that distinction really quick, a uh, big difference between custom fields and custom values. So we're, we're gonna talk about custom values in this video, maybe we'll do custom fields in another. All right, so these are very easy to create. Up here at the top right, just click on new custom value. You're gonna give it a name, uh, and you can update the the name later on too, so don't worry about you know getting it exactly right uh, right off the bat. But uh, and the value is the URL or or the um, the the value field is what do you want to show up in the custom value? Because basically, what's going to happen is Go High Level is going to take that value and wherever you put this key right here, wherever you put this inside of the Go High Level system this value, whatever you put there, is going to show up. Let me give you a couple of examples. I mean, this is a pretty simple one right here. I, I got one, two, three, uh, which I update later, you know, as I uh, customize my client's accounts. But uh, anywhere that I have this custom key right here, one, two, three is going to show up, okay? So you can have this in emails, text messages, web pages, funnels, websites, all of that stuff, all right? So, uh, and I'll, I'll show you a, a couple of examples here really quick. Let me pull up one of the funnels that I have, like one of the funnel pages inside of my SaaS product. So um, I, uh, you know, I provide my clients with a ton of different funnels. And again, this is why this is so powerful because it saves so much time. I'll, I'll show you just like, like all the funnels that I provide for my clients. Imagine if I had to go into every single funnel and put uh, manually insert my client's logo onto every single web page in every single funnel. You know how much time that would take? Or a ridiculous amount of time. It, it, like, it's just not scalable. Um, but with custom values, watch this. Uh, I just opened up a random page uh, inside of one of my client's funnels here. And you see where it says Elite Broker? So that's the name of my SaaS product. But if we click this, uh, so this is an image element on the page. So you go to elements, element, all right, drag the image uh, element on, et cetera, et cetera. All right, but what's different here is instead of actually inserting the logo, what I've done 
is if we scroll down here on the left hand side, you see right here where the uh, uh, the images, the, the image field, well, instead of having like a, an actual inserted image, I just put the, the custom value that I have, the key for this custom value specifically for the logo. Now watch this guys, this is so cool. So what happens is again, in the onboarding form, one of the custom fields that I use, uh, the pieces of information that I need is their logo right here. So I have my clients upload their logo, I download it and watch this. Uh, what you can do is go into settings, uh, go to the media library here, open it up. You're going to uh, upload the file and anything that you upload into the media library. So this could be PDF documents, uh, memes, whatever it is, all right? You can do this for uh, pretty much any type of image, uh, any, almost anything that you can uh, uh, upload into the media. But for example, let's say this was the logo. All you do is select it and right up here at the top right, you're able to copy the link of this asset inside of Go High Level to the clipboard. So we copy that, we go back to our custom values for the logo, all right? So we'll go to custom values, all right, let's, uh, let's expand this list a little bit to 100 per page so we can just easily scroll down. And we're going to find the logo image right here. You can see I already have the Elite Broker one here. But what you would do is either you, you create a new one, but I'm, I'll just edit this one for now. So we go to uh, logo image. You click edit, get rid of the, uh, the current value, and paste in that link. Click update. It literally puts my client's logo on every single email, which I have hundreds of emails written for my clients. Uh, it puts it on every single website, every single funnel page like that. And if my clients ever wanna update their logo later, no problem, just send me the logo, upload the new one to the media library, grab that link, update the custom value, done. Good to go, it is awesome. I just, that's why I absolutely love this feature. Uh, another one that I do is like a client business name or like on um, all of our text messages, uh, we'll put like a little signature, like their first name, dash their company name, you know, for branding purposes. Sometimes they wanna change that. So I've got, uh, I have a custom value for that. And uh, let me show you where, where these are at. So if we go to like, these are in all of the emails and text messages. Um, I'll show you the text messages here really quick. Uh, just an example. Because you can use the, you might be wondering like, where can I use these custom values? You can use them just about in every part of the platform, not everything. Uh, there are some limitations, but um, like a new one that I started playing around with uh, not, not too long ago, but um, trigger links. Trigger links inside of Go High Level, really awesome feature for uh, tracking people uh, that are clicking on your links inside of your emails or text messages or whatnot. And you can create follow-up automations around those trigger links, but you can use the custom values inside of the trigger link as well as the link itself. Uh, it's really cool. But anyways, um, let's go to let's go to this appointment one here really quick. Got a uh, an appointment confirmation and reminder uh, system or sequence here. So we'll scroll down and you know we got this uh, you know internal notification. Look uh, like right here um, and stick with me till we get to the especially till we get to the email part, guys, because like this this is gonna save. It just saves so much time. It's just awesome. Like this was a game changer for me. The from name and from email address with your emails. Oh, I 99 out of 100 times, I'm always using custom values and you'll see why in a minute. But anyways, you can see all these custom values instead of putting, so so my from name, like I said, I usually put my, uh, my first name dash my company name. Well, instead of putting that, I put the custom value for it in here because again, just in case I ever need to make a change to that signature or that from name, I don't have to go into every single automation, every single email and update it one by one. I can just update the custom value and it updates across the entire system wherever I have this custom key here. So that's uh, that's one way we use it. Uh, we can use it in text messages right here. You can see uh, right here, inserting the custom value. And most of the time there is a custom values um, element where you can, you, like right here, we can choose a custom value here. We'll go to custom values. We would find our first name uh, slash business name, uh, custom key, and it inserts it, all right? So, uh, but sometimes you do have to like actually like go to custom values in the settings tab, copy the key, and then paste it in. Like if you're gonna put this in a, um, like I was showing you that, uh, like right here in a funnel page, 
something like that, uh, that's where you'll have to uh, copy and paste it. Because you can see here, there's no real way to like insert a custom value. You have to copy and paste it. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you have to do it that way. Not a big deal. Uh, but anyways, uh, so those are a few places that I use it. I want to show you the emails next um, because this was a game changer. Because uh, again, changing business names, uh, signatures, uh, what, what else is it? Uh, email addresses, you know, maybe maybe the email address gets blocked and you need to update that. Because uh, one of the uh, key things about sending emails, just really quick side note, uh, inside of Go High Level is your, your from email address has to be the exact same email address you connected to the system. So it's really important that those two are the same, which is also why it's really important to use custom values because if you ever need to change that, it saves you so much time. So we're in marketing, we're gonna go to emails and templates. All right, and I do the same thing with the logo right here. So I'll just go to random one. Uh, so we always have the logo at the top of every email uh, for branding, but we use the um, the logo custom value for it. That's the difference. All right, I'm gonna pause this for now. All right, ready to rock and roll, finally. Okay, uh, yeah, sorry for the lag, guys. My internet's acting up. So up here at the top, you see this blank space. Um, it's actually not, it, it's, an, it's another image element. So uh, right here, same thing as we did on the funnel page. We're using the custom value for the logo instead of actually inserting the logo here. You can see these custom values down here. We're inserting the Twilio number, first name and business name for uh, <clears throat> just as like a mini signature. Another, uh, well, actually before I move to uh, how to use this for links and URLs, uh, up here at the top right, click on the three little dots Click on settings, and again, instead of using the actual name and email address, we use the custom values, and you can click this little tag to insert them. Uh, so again, it's a, it's a really easy feature to use. And uh, we click on custom values, you would find whatever your value is, the from name, the from email address, and it automatically inserts that value into everywhere you use this key. It's just awesome. So uh, the other way that I use it too, though, is for links. Right, so especially if you're uh, you're doing this for clients, but even even if uh, you know with your own business, you know what if you change your domain uh, later on down the road, or maybe your URL stops working and you need to update it. Instead of going to every single email to update this, uh, we click on the button right here. I'll show you. So uh, the link URL is always a custom value because if I ever need to change the URL for this page, I don't have to find everywhere that. The, the URL is, I because I've been using custom values, I just update, uh, I go to the custom value uh, in the settings, I update that, changes across the entire system. So really, really neat feature, guys. I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of how I use them. There's, sky's kind of the limit uh, for, for the custom value feature. You can use it for so many different things, but I just wanted to show you some of the main ways that I use it in my business to hopefully give you some ideas uh, that will basically give you back a ton of time inside of your business when you're using something like Go High Level. So hope this was helpful, guys. I hope you're crushing it. Uh, any questions or comments, uh, leave it down in the comments section below. If you want me to do a video on something else inside of Go High Level, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. I uh, hope you guys are crushing it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Ice is out. Peace.